Hi, I'm Rick Kittles, co-founder and scientific director of African Ancestry. You know, in my travels uh, around the country, I meet a lot of people and many of them have the same questions. And so I thought it would be a good opportunity now to answer questions that you may have. So we use what we call a, a sequence similarity score to sort of um, provide some information about if a sequence is an identical match or a closely related sequence. Sometimes when we search these sequences through our database, we don't find an identical match for one population or, or multiple populations. And so what we then do is we look at the amount of sequence that is similar to a sequence in our database. And then the ones that have the highest sequence similarity score are those that we call it in terms of more likely uh, most common um, uh, ancestry. So let's say for instance a person has a sequence similarity score of 99.7 percent let's say Yoruba. That means that we found a, a closely related sequence to yours that was of Yoruba ethnicity and the sequence similarity or the, 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 the amount of sequence that was similar was 99.7%. It doesn't mean that there's some 0.3% that you are something else. Remember, these are lineages and so there's maternal and there's paternal. And so they only represent a small segment of your overall DNA. And they provide information for a window of maternal or paternal ancestors. So a sequence similarity score of 99.7 means that we matched it with a closely related sequence and that was 99.7% similar. Um, if it was an identical match, which we do find a lot, it would be a 100% sequence similarity score. 